We're selling more cars now than we ever have. It'd be really easy to sit back on the left. Or we could set a precedent. For people, what's it going to take? Deeper discounts on our best-selling models. Give it to them. In fact, if there's a better advertised price on ours, I want to know about it. We need an interest rate that can't be touched. Then give it to them. Contact Financing and arrange an exclusive financing package. I want the best in the market. If there's a better offer in the market, I want to know about it. We're not going to let that happen. For his total dedication to customer satisfaction, I'm proud to present Philip Gardner. Western Trophy and Engraving, for the winners since 1964. Planes were quickly spreading through the second floor. Complete coverage. Turn to News Center Seven, Idaho's news channel. This is one uh, a lovely Valentine I just got. I haven't read it yet. It says, "You'll never know how much I love you, because we've never actually met. Although I follow you around and watch you with binoculars." <laughs> All righty, folks. Welcome back. Got a great show for you tonight. Phil Hartman, New York cabby, film critics, Bucky and Vinny, and the music of Take Six. You know, recently we were just I in the great city of Chicago. What are you doing? I want to read a Valentine's Day card. I have a Valentine's Day card. I want to read it. Who's the, you got it or you're sending it? I'm sending it. Who I would, couldn't get one. <laughs> you want to hear my card? Not, not that I would care if you said no. You could say, fall off and die, and I'd still read it. Okay, here's my Valentine's Day card. All right, make it quick, Gilbert. What, are you a Nazi now? No, get out of here. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Please, I'm going to read now. As the years go by, I love you more and more. But if you gain 10 pounds, I'm out the freaking door! I get it. Thank you. I knew this was under the desk for a reason. Folks, you wonder why I got this call. We went to Chicago over the weekend. Great town, you know, wonderful people. It's one of my favorite cities in the world, but it was... I, it was it was 18 degrees with a wind chill of like 20 below or some goofball thing. And we thought, what better town to drive around in a Cadillac convertible? You know, what let's just pretend we're in L.A. Let's just see if we can do it. We were trying out jokes on people, what we call, well, a joke run. Take a look. My kind of town, Chicago is a You know, when you tell jokes, it's best to travel around the country. How are you? And try them out in different cities, like Chicago. You know what people call it in Chicago when it's minus 10 below? What? Indian summer. Is that okay? Uh, it was so cold today in Chicago, people want hot apple pie just to put in their pants to keep warm. Is that okay? Great. Uh, it was so cold today, OJ asked for his fake beard and knit cap back. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Pretty not, good. not great, though. Huh? <laughs> so cold, Jonathan Elders had her hands in her pants just to keep warm. <laughs> My kind of people do. People who smile at you and Can we try a joke out on you? Can we try a joke out on you? Oh, yeah. You tell them it's any good. You seen that commercial where the guy's whole head turns oh, yeah, into a I giant nose? Uh, kind of makes you glad he doesn't have hemorrhoids, doesn't it? Kind of makes you glad he doesn't have hemorrhoids, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that okay? It's okay. Sir. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, in Chicago, plumbers here are spending $200,000 on an ad campaign to help improve their public image. 
You know, if they want to improve their earnings, why don't you just pull their pants up when they bend over? <laughs> in or out? Uh, yeah. You know, at St. Patrick's Day here in Chicago, they dye the river green. Isn't that desecrating a mob burial ground? <laughs> That's all right. Can we try some jokes out on you? All right, sure. Uh, Taco Bell's got a new line of uh, fat-free dishes coming out. This way you won't have a heart attack while you're running to the bathroom. <laughs> In or out? Yes or no? All right. It's all right. right. Yeah. Uh, post office officials say there are over 70,000 pieces of undelivered mail in Chicago. That's because Dan Ross and couch has got all the spam. Ah! Good? In or out? That's good. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! Oh, the one about you, uh, as, I, as I beat up Donnie Osmond. Oh, yeah, you fought Donnie Osmond to raise for charity, and I said, what kind of match is that? The toughest Osmond versus the toughest Partridge. I think you're fighting uh, the Olsen twins next week. <laughs> Let's just keep people and show off with cars. Uh, here's United Center. Let's go try some jokes out on the ball. Now, Scotty, you all know that uh, Michael Jordan signed his contract to play baseball with the Chicago White Sox. When he did it, he told reporters, he's not afraid to fail. Now, if he's not afraid to fail, why didn't he just sign with the Cubs? <laughs> One town that won't let you down. You been following the O.J. trial? Yeah. Boy, that Johnny Cochran's pretty smooth, isn't he? Sure is. He's got O.J. believing he didn't do it. <laughs> you know, in the trial the other day, they, they made Marsha Clark... The fence made to take off that angel pin. Yeah. Okay. And today Judge Ito made uh, Shapiro and Cochran take off their little gold weasel pin. <laughs> you know what OJ stands for now, don't you? Hey, what? Orange jumpsuit. Hey, there you go. Well, the sun's starting to set, the temperature's dropping. I think we got a monologue, but it's so cold, I don't care. <laughs> with Phil Hartman right after this. Don't go away. You are now free to operate all electronic devices. What a hard-working bunch. And you're working harder than most. I've seen bigger screens on a calculator. Now, this is a nifty screen, but objects may shift during the flight. You're working too hard because, frankly, your hands are just designed wrong. Ooh, an IBM ThinkPad. See, now this is what it's like to fly first class. What's been added to Nabisco shredded wheat? Not fat. Definitely not sugar. And not a pinch of salt. Because unlike those other cereals, the original shredded wheat is made from just pure, delicious, 100% whole grain wheat. So, what's been added to Nabisco shredded wheat? Looks good. Nabisco shredded wheat. It's just naturally good. What a great day to buy a car. I thought the days of women being treated differently than men were long gone. This is the vanity mirror so you can check your makeup. Then I tried to buy a car. Something reliable. Yes, 40. How much you looking to spend? I want to spend about $12,000. The rich can help you out. I'll be back to you soon, okay? When I got to Saturn, Dave Pierce took the time to answer all my questions. Not only did I buy a Saturn, I thought it might be fun to sell them. You know what I like best about working here? Showing guys the vanity mirror. For the first six weeks of life, there's no cat food more perfect than mother's milk. After that, there's no cat food more perfect than whiskers. That's when a cat's needs change, and that's where you come in. Like mother's milk, Whiskers is nutritionally complete and has the bodybuilding vitamins, minerals, and proteins that vets recommend. Something any mother would approve of. Whiskers picks up where mother leads off.
What if you had to move $4.5 million worth of new and used cars into your garage for a giant garage sale? No way? Well, that's exactly what Miller Stefan is doing. Starting Friday at noon, Miller Stefan moves the best of their $4.5 million inventory to their huge service garage for the largest garage sale in Treasure Valley. Four days of unbelievable savings. New Hondas, Pontiacs, Cadillacs, and Hyundais all drastically reduced. Miller Stefan's giant garage sale. Don't miss out on the savings. Sometimes a strict menu of polis just doesn't cut it. That's the time to try a crisp, clean 7-Up, the Uncola. When you've got a taste for Un, there's only one. You could win a gift certificate good for Avia Athletic Shoes in the 7-Up Shootout Slam Dunk Game. Listen to KQFC FM or see the 7-Up display at participating Albertsons for details. Coming to the program, uh, Take Six will be out here. Bucky and Vinny discussing today's Academy Award nomination from the cab driver's point of view. We'll get to see what they have to say. All right, my uh, first guest, good friend, very funny guy, comedian, was a comedian. Now he is an actor in a hit film. Uh, this man is growing leaps and bounds, ladies and gentlemen. Best known for his work on Saturday Night Live, starring in his own sitcom called News Radio. He's almost too big to be here. Please welcome Mr. Phil Hartman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Congratulate you on your film. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks to everybody who went to see House Guest. Um, so did you have a... Uh, have you had your Valentine with your wife? Have you done anything? Or are you doing it? What's going on? Well, it's the whole day, Jay. It's only half over. Uh, really? really? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, there's no one more romantic than me. Really? Yeah. No, really? That's fascinating. I woke up early this morning... Uh, prepared breakfast for my wife, and I woke her up by whispering into her ear in French. Women love that, right, ladies? I said, uh, bonjour, mon cher. Il y a un petit arachnid qui est en train de votre chemise. Je vais les sortir. Now, what does that uh, mean? That means, good morning, darling. Yeah. Uh, a small spider has gone down your blouse. Yeah. Let me help you. Yeah. Yeah. Very romantic. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the girls love it. <laughs> and uh, so then I, I presented her with her breakfast, which was heart-shaped pancakes with that... Heart-shaped pancakes? Yes. It's very hard to make, I imagine. Very hard. It takes a delicate touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and put the red syrup from IHOP Ooh. on there, the red raspberry syrup. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. That's uh, the international... Yes, the international. Uh, so that yeah. seems to be the theme of this right, shot, right. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. And then we... Uh, I normally like to... Stay in bed for a while, watch some romantic movies. Yeah. We were going to watch Casablanca and A Man and a Woman. Right. But the kids joined us, so we watched a Barney sing-along video. Yeah. Uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Oh, very right romantic right. film. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then it was time for the presentation and exchange of cards. Oh. Which, uh, I, I brought the card I gave to my wife. Oh, let's see. It's the card I gave to my wife. Uh, you can see it's a beautiful pink card. And... Yeah. Uh, it's a big card. Some people say size isn't important. But really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> uh, and uh, now my card is in Spanish. I don't Spanish? know if you can notice that, but uh, is your wife Spanish? I don't no, know. my wife is in Spanish, but I just think Valentine's Day doesn't sound so romantic. But Dia de los Enamorados. <laughs> it's very yeah, romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. And this is a special card because, listen. Oh, it, it plays an annoying song. It plays the music, uh, musical theme, and I believe this is one of the latest from Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's the biggest selling recording artist in the United States. Very nice. Um, and, well, that would like to drive you crazy. I would have really rather not Let me, uh, I want to read what's in Let's just see if I can kill this thing. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Snoop. Now, listen.
listen, listen to these words because uh, this is so romantic. Yes, yes. Estoy de ti enamorado y sé que siempre te lo estaré. Tú estás en mi pensamiento. Y en mi corazón también. De hoy quiero recordarte que mi vida es más feliz desde que tengo tu amor o tus caricias para mí. Feliz día de los enamorados con todo mi cariño. Te amo, Felipe. Very, very nice, Phil. Very, very nice.